everyone and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Stan Rattan, and this is a Blue Collar Wine Show where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. We are continuing with Washington Wine. March is Washington Wine Month. We've covered quite a bit of ground for Washington Wine Month. I'm pretty proud of the episodes. They seem to be really informative and we got done with a pink episode, a little rosé. Got some comments on that. I appreciate that. Thank you for the comments, by the way. They really mean a lot to me. I try to respond to all of them. In fact, I have one I have to respond to after I shoot this episode. Um, we're going to look at Syrah. Now, Syrah really should be the signature grape of Washington State. Syrah in Washington is fantastic. We're on the same parallel as uh, the Rhone Valley, which is where Syrah kind of... The birthplace of Syrah, you could say. They do a lot in South Africa. Of course, Australia, Shiraz, same thing. Uh, but in Washington State, they do some fantastic Syrah. Now, I get excited about Merlot from Washington State, but I also get excited about Syrah. I don't know the exact answer to it, but Syrah from Washington State is fantastic. We're going to look at three very good Syrahs, at least I hope so, from Washington State. And we're going to start off, I have no idea what order to go in on these. I'm just shooting from the hip here. This is the uh, Dusted Valley 2017 Stain Tooth Syrah, Columbia Valley, and it rolls in at $33. Dusted Valley is a great winery. Uh, they're located in Walla Walla. They do a lot of, uh, they do some Walla Walla fruit, but they use a lot of Columbia Valley fruit, which many of them do because it's cheaper than the fruit from Walla Walla. So, Syrah, let's see what we get on the nose. It's interesting, Syrah is very respected in the Rhone Valley. Cote Roti, Hermitage, uh, St. Joseph, all great places for Syrah. And, you know, we're, you know, we say, well, 33 bucks is kind of expensive. Well, you go there, especially Cote Roti, you're talking anywhere from $150 to $400 for a Cote Roti. Could even be more. So, you know, 33 bucks, chump change compared to those. St. Joseph's, all of those are in the $40 to $50 range. Let's see what we get on those. Oh, first color, color, color. I gotta get a new pad. This one's got a little stain on it. This is freaking dark. Just saying. Like dark red, a little bit of purple. There you go. Very, very dark. What you would expect from Syrah. Some people get Syrah and Petite Syrah mixed up a little bit. They are related. Uh, petite Syrah comes from. I think a blend of uh, Syrah and Palauerson, I believe. It is also called Drif. And some of the uh, folks in the U.S. think that they should change that name to Drif. So I'm going to also get blueberries, strawberry, a bit of currant and blackberry coming through. A bit of smokiness, which is not uncommon for Syrah. I'm getting a little bit of that roasted meat, sort of that meaty characteristic that comes through with so many Syrahs. Definitely blueberry though. Let's see what we get on the palate. Meaty tannins, like raw meat. Very peppery on the back end. Good acidity gives it a nice lift, brightness on the palate, but it's still got that brooding, dark kind of uh, blueberry, uh, a boysenberry, a little bit of strawberry coming through. The smokiness is there. It's like charred, you know, there's just a really charry Kind of like, you know, you charred the meat a little bit. A little bit of charred wood coming through. Meaty. Blueberry. Let's skip the strawberry. I'm, I'm not feeling the strawberry all of a sudden. Get more of that boysenberry, blueberry thing going on. Nice balance. This would be beautiful with lamb. I would definitely have this with lamb. Definitely with a steak ribeye would be perfect. You know, this would also be good with a, you know, really heavy, like a stew or a, um, uh, what was I just thinking about? 
any sort of a that anything that has red meat in a roast, all those things. I know we're getting closer to spring. And I think tomorrow's spring. So we're getting close to spring. It's here. It'll be here by the time this episode gets out there. I love that kind of roasted meat, char, blueberry, boysenberry thing going on with this with that good acidity in the background. This is another thing beautiful about Syrah that I like, is these are some wines that you can really think about aging. We had an episode on aging wine. These would be ones, like this one. It's a beauty, got good acidity. It has good acidity, got good acidity. <laughs> has good acidity, has good fruit, has nice balance. The tannins are softer, but still structured. Yeah, this one will lay down 10 years easily. Um, solid wine, really solid wine. I'm gonna go um, B plus, A minus on that one. I really like it, that charry kind of, tobacco -y that the pepper comes through. No tobacco. No tobacco. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Getting a little carried away. Good Syrah, though. I think another reason why Syrah sometimes struggles is, is the identity of the flavor profile. Syrah can go all over the place. Syrah can go big fruit forward. It can be like this one where it's kind of smoky, meat, meaty, blueberry, you know, peppery. It can go a lot of different directions. So, you know, a lot of people play it safe with Syrah, with wines, with wines in general. That's why they like Cab, we've talked about it. A lot of people like Merlot because they seem to be somewhat consistent, where Syrah can really kind of jump around, kind of like Pinot Noir. We do know that Pinot Noir has basic characteristics, but it really can go in a lot of different directions, and Syrah can as well. 2018, Sincline Syrah, McKinley Springs Vineyard, Horse Heaven Hills. This rolls in at $35. James and Poppy Mentone. James is really high on the McKinley Springs, Horse Heaven Hills area because of the type of soil and the, what it contributes to the wine. So, color again on this one. This is almost like a blue-purple sort of red. Yeah, very dark though, which we expect from Syrah. Very dark on this one. Let's see what we get on the nose. This one just drives more towards plum and boysenberry. Yeah, definitely more plum and boysenberry on this one. Just a touch of blueberry coming through. This one's nice and uh, deep on the nose. I mean, you can really get a sense of deepness. Huh? And, you know, again, it's very important to smell your wine. I know a lot of people will just pour in the glass and drink it, but you're missing something if you do that. I know many of my viewers on this channel do take time to smell the wine and I appreciate that and if you're new to the channel and you don't take the time to do it please just take a few minutes and smell the wine it enhances your enjoyment of that glass of wine Let's see what we get on the bell Okay, I set the bar pretty high, giving this a B plus, A minus. This is incredible. The same. Blueberry, plum, boysenberry, very well integrated. It's nicely, almost seamless on the palate, but just the depth is incredible. Good acidity right on the back side of this one. Wow, wow, wow. little touch of bacon fat coming through and we use that term a lot with Syrah I do get bacon fat element that sneaks in here and there and this has got nice meaty texture but not quite as beefy as this one but just so much more integrated and nice and smooth and delicious and that blueberry really comes through with that acidity on the back side Front to finish, it just keeps going. And that finish is so beautiful with that acidity, the blueberries, the, the boysenberry, a little bit of that red. And it goes from kind of more on the red plum direction. But what a beautiful Syrah. You want to know. 
so raw from watching them. This is a great example. I like the Dusted Valley a lot. This one's even better. I'm going to go A plus on this raw. Seriously. This has a little coat roti action going on with that kind of bright blueberry, but it definitely has that New World Love. Uh, just a beautiful Syrah. And then right on the back side, just a little bit of that kind of, now there's tobacco on this one. Yeah, just a beauty. Just a beauty. Nice job, James. Unbelievable. Uh -huh. Unbe really unbelievable straw. And then there's that little kind of tarry, um, um, charry thing right on the back side. A little rougher, twice as smooth. I'm going to pour these in the wrong order, but we're going to move on. This is a project by St. Michelle. This is the uh, Tenant Wines, the Pundit 2018 Syrah. Now, granted, this is 17, this is 18. Either one you could put away for 10 years, but man, is this drinking good now. So this is the Pundit by Tenant, Syrah, 2018, Columbia Valley. Um, and this rolls in at, this is $21. So St. Michel does a project. It's called Fervent from France and Tenant from Washington State. Uh, St. Michel is really focusing on Syrah, trying to get, you know, more sales in Syrah, more recognition that Washington State does really good Syrah. This is a great label though. I love the label. I'm showing it to you again. Um, so let's see. The color is much darker than those two. And that's saying something. This is like dark, dark purple. Almost like a crushed velvet sort of look. Man, it's almost borderline black on this one. Let's see what we get on the nose. A lot of char on this one too, like that burnt wood, not burnt, you know, kind of almost burnt wood. This one definitely has bacon fat on the nose. Almost a black raspberry blueberry thing. And a little bit of boysenberry. It's funny how this one went plum. This one I sort of thought strawberry, kind of got away from it. more blueberry. Now this one's getting, and all, all both of them boysenberry but that interesting kind of charry wood charry element charred wood element comes through let's see what we get on the palate even a touch of licorice a little thinner than either of the two before it, but still, really delicious. This is a 10 in the delicious category. You have um, boysenberry, blueberry, really kind of fatter than either of these. Good acidity on the back side, kind of, you heard that, the acidity coming through. Nice intensity of fruit. Getting a little bit of that. And so definitely boysenberry, blueberry, a little black raspberry, and then nice and peppery. Now, now the uh, interesting the syncline was not, not so much peppery as the tenant and the Dusted Valley. But the black pepper on this one is coming through in spades on the back end of this wine. Nice integration of fruit, tannins, and there and the the other elements come, <laughs> nice integration of fruit and tannins. Let's just stop right there. Very seamless on the palate as well. I like this one. The only thing, I could have, should have had this in the very front. I wasn't sure. I didn't go by price because I had all of, I've had this one before and I really liked it. The fruit really shows through. But, just a touch thinner, and you wouldn't notice that if you didn't taste it after these two. But still, very good. It is thinner anyway, but not super thin. I think this is a beautiful Syrah to showcase, well these two especially, to showcase what Washington can do with Syrah. And I know that St. Michelle is really trying hard to do that. 2018's Great Vintage.
touch of that bacon fat coming through, a little bit of that charred wood. This is a beauty too. I like it as well. All three very good representations of Washington State Sorrel. This is a great value at 21 bucks. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go B plus A minus on that one as well. This one A plus, B plus A minus. All excellent examples. So if you haven't dove into Syrah lately, you've kind of given up on it, I would encourage you to seek it out again, especially from Washington State. Of course, the Rome Valley, but Rome Valley, sometimes they blend, and you don't want to go up to Northern Rome where it's, you know, St. Joseph, you're talking big bucks there. But just from Washington State, you can get some really reasonably priced, very good quality Syrah. If you're doing barbecue chicken, if you're roasting, if you're grilling a steak, if you're having a roast, if you're having lamb, these are all really good wines with those things. So, there you go. Nice to look at Washington State Sora. Thanks for taking a little time out of your day. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos on Mondays and Thursdays. Mondays for the beginning of the week, Thursdays for the weekend. Um, you keep watching, and I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars. Bye.